Welcome to this Telephone Town Hall meeting summary of our 2013 CDOT Bilingual Teletown Hall. We began dialing out to neighborhoods along the I-70 corridor with a message in English and in Spanish. Spanish speakers were instructed to press 1 during the introductory message to join a Spanish-language Teletown Hall broadcast, while English speakers simply stayed on the line to join the primary Teletown Hall event. Telephone Town Hall Meeting ran both events on location at Colorado Department of Transportation offices in Denver, providing on-site moderators as well as remote collectors and screeners. During the call, TTHM staff ran web-based control platforms, screened questions from the live audience, and collected email addresses from listeners interested in getting digital updates from CDOT on this ongoing transportation project. Now listen in to a brief summary of this telephone town hall meeting. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to our telephone town hall we're having tonight. We appreciate you joining us for the call. We're going to be on for the next hour. We're going to answer lots of questions. We really want you to ask questions, and the best way to do that is to hit zero, zero on the keypad on your phone. Now, thousands of your neighbors have been invited to join this virtual town hall meeting, so you didn't have to come out in the snow tonight. We're going to be on for the next hour. We really appreciate you joining us. We're going to be discussing the I-70 Heath project, which includes alternatives to address transportation issues along I-70 between I-25 and Tower Road. So, uh, Kirk, if you could take it away right now, that would be great. Thanks for joining us this, this evening. My name is Kirk Webb. I am the project manager on the team from Colorado Department of Transportation, and we're looking for ways to resolve congestion on I-70 in Denver. Tonight, we'd like to hear your questions concerning our project. First, let me tell you a little bit about it. Our goal is to improve congestion, make the interstate safer, and make it easier to get on and off the highway. Also, we must replace the bridge between Brighton Boulevard and Colorado Boulevard because it's 60 years old and it's nearing the end of its useful life. We began looking for a solution more than 10 years ago. We've studied hundreds of alternatives and worked closely with residents of the neighborhoods in the I-70 corridor and surrounding areas to make sure our solution addresses their needs and concerns. Each alternative has impacts. Each will result in the relocation of some nearby residents and businesses. After studying the impacts on environmental and community resources and hearing input from you and your neighbors, in the next few months we will recommend which alternatives should move forward. We will announce our recommendation this spring and listen to additional input from you and other members of the public at meetings in the neighborhood. We hope you'll participate. Now, while we're waiting for a couple of opening questions, we have a polling question we'd like to take tonight. The polling question goes like this. How often do you drive between I-25 and Colorado Boulevard? And you get to vote on this on the keypad on your phone. So here it goes. By the way, again, if you have a question, press zero for the people just joining us. We have about two-thirds of our neighbors on the call thus far. And if you want to provide us email addresses, press seven. Regina's next. Regina, welcome to our telephone town hall meeting. Regina, what part of the corridor are you from, and what's your question, please? I live on 49th and Adams Street in Denver, Colorado. Is I-70 going to take over Swans Elementary School? And if it is, are you guys going to give money to build a new school, or are we are going to have a building in this area constructed into the elementary school? Right. Thank you for your, for your question. This is a, a big concern for CDOT because of all the concern like you and your neighbors have expressed to us over the course of this project. We really want to avoid as many impacts as we can to the school. With our options, we believe that we can have the school remain in its current location. Unfortunately, we would have to re rearrange or adjust the way the campus is laid out. We would hope to move the playground facilities away from the highway and closer towards uh, 47th Street side of the school, and then move the parking uh, for the school, uh, the teachers and, and aides who work at the school, closer to the highway. And we're going to finish up this call tonight with our allotted time. If, Kirk, if you could go through with your opening, uh, touch upon a couple of those opening remarks you started with to finish up with, that would be great. Go ahead, please. Sure. So we're looking to make improvements from on I-70 um, between I-25 and Tower Road, and we're looking to relieve congestion on, on that freeway. It's one of Denver area's busiest freeways. Um, our goal is to improve congestion, make the interstate safer, and make it easier to get on and off the highway. Also, we have to replace the bridge between Brighton Boulevard and Colorado Boulevard because it's 60 years old and nearing the end of its useful life. Um, we're considering four alternatives for that bridge replacement between Brighton and Colorado Boulevard. The first is to remove the bridge and reconstruct it 
um, below existing ground level with additional lanes with a cover. Where our second option is to replace the bridge, moving it north and adding lanes to relieve congestion. Our third option is to replace the bridge, move it to the south and add lanes to relieve congestion. And our last option is to replace the bridge, but not add any more lanes. We'd like you to um, visit our website. Our website, once again, is www.i-70east.com. You can find more information about the project, the impacts, maps, and pictures of the alternatives on that website. You can also e email us, contact us at i70east.com. That's C-O-N-T-A-C-T-U-S at I-70EAST dot C-O-M. And we have run out of our allotted time, so if you did want to, want to leave us a voicemail with your name, your phone number, and your email address so we could potentially get back to you, that would be great. At the end of this call, do leave us that voicemail because we weren't, we couldn't get to every question or every comment. We really appreciate it, and uh, thank you so much for your time, and this ends our call. Have a safe, safe night. Good night now.